Hello again, peeps and geeks. Uh, here we go. She's all finished. With way more glue than she actually needs. And yeah, I didn't end up putting it on her head. See those two green things? In between the two silver things? That's supposed to be Peridot. Now you all can guess when my birthday is. So, yeah. I completely covered it with glue, because hot glue has a tendency to break off at the worst moments, and freaking strings. They get everywhere. That's the one thing I hate about hot glue. It'd be so useful. No, the strings just have to go everywhere. I'm thinking of color covering it with that clear nail polish and just turning in, it into, I don't know, snow or something. <laughs> okay, maybe not snow. Ice! Oh god, no, that's going too frozen. Um, I'll figure something out. Maybe I could paint it red and it could turn into the whole... Ooh, no, I'm already doing the red thing. Pink! Let's paint it pink. The glue. I don't know why, but hey. Geode turned out pink, so it'll look nice. And maybe it'll offset the... Offset the, uh... Damn, I can't think. Geode. Anyway, look closely. Do you see this little piece of chain? Right here? Yeah, I left that on there on purpose. Because, you know, perfect girl being gone, chain's broken. Yeah. Okay. On the other subject, I'd also like to show off my grimoire, which is so much not done. But, I desecrated a tarot card deck for this, so. For those of you who know what this is, this is the, well, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is the erotica tarot card deck. At least I think that's what it's called. Probably in French. I can't remember exactly. Anyway, this is it. As you can see, it's not done. Some pieces have fallen off because I did not use hot glue. I used the cards that aren't torn apart are the cards that kind of worked with me the most. And then you have this little one, my hair, which reminded me so much of a spider that I had to do this. I've got embroidery thread. This one reminds me of Diana, specifically. Like, Artemis is becoming Diana. Because, you know, she, they're not, they're the same, but they, they're not, like, the same. I don't know how to explain it. Artemis is more wild than Diana. At least that's how I picture her. I don't know if it's... No, it's a stone. Actually true. This is cotton yarn. It's actually made from cotton balls. It was an experiment. I just wanted to see if I could spin cotton balls. And apparently I can't because that was the first one I ever spun. And it's just there because I want to... I read too much Tamora Pierce. And <laughs> how it said with Sandry that your first yarn that you spin is the most powerful. Well, it's the first cotton yarn I've ever spun. This is the first wool yarn I've ever spun. And also the first yarn I ever plied with other yarns. So, yeah, there's another first. More the cotton yarn, but here it represents my favorite type of cloud. Which you see down here in this picture of my favorite type of sky. Giant cumulonimbus. Well, these aren't cumulonimbus, but they're close enough. Giant poofy cumulonimbus clouds on a blue sky. And I see this is in my head. It's the River Nile. I've never seen the River Nile. I don't know if you can do this on the River Nile, but in my imagination you can. That is why there's a lapis lazuli over here. And we have a little goddess pendant because, again, Artemis 
It's directly connected. Manatees, mermaids, water, and this is just something I'd like to do one day in my own house. This one reminds me of the Wheel of the Year, which is probably what it represents on the card. I can't remember. I've done this. So, yeah. I want to do this. This is interesting. I can't exactly remember why I did this, but it speaks to me. I just can't understand what it's saying yet. And if I had to put a goddess to this, I would say this was Hera. Just, she looks Hera-y, mother-y, wifey. Only, you know, before Zeus came in and made everything irritating. Like, this is what I'd figure Hera would look like in her original connotation before they added Zeus, because Hera's legend existed before his did. At least in the research I've done. And this ketchup bomb. I got her off YouTube. She's very Native American, and I have very little Native American in me, but I've always been proud of it. Possibly a little too proud of it. She also kind of reminds me of myself. And I've got a thing with birds of prey. And these are the feathers. These have to be the feathers of the bird of prey. I don't know why. I just figure that they are. I'm tearing my book apart. No. I need to fix that. Hot glue gun. I choose you. Oh, the things I want to do. Oh, the things that I want to do. Snorkeling, definitely. I've done that, actually. The snorkeling, I've done that. Places I want to go. Things I need to see. It's kind of a bit of a bucket list, at the same time as being my grimoire. I don't think I'd want to eat the raw oysters, though. <laughs> Little leery. I definitely want to swim with dolphins. Dolphins! I just like this picture. I made this because, well, her speak. She inspired me with that. So, this pops up. Well, it's supposed to. I did a lot of writing. I'm not flipping through the whole thing. But hey, for you Potter people who are on that one website, which I can't remember, Potter something, this is how I picture Evil Morning to look. Since I'm an American, this is Evil Morning. I'm very happy with it. And this was my original rendition of my house, which is the Thunderbird, if you can. See, the two eyes, way up here. This is, this is the head, if you can't tell. Since I feel kind of snake-like some days, it has a forked tongue. Spreads out in the wings, and the tail. And here are more snakes. Even though they kind of, in retrospect, looked a bit like tadpoles. So we've got frogs going on here. Still reptilian. I can work with it. This page is giving me so much trouble. As you can see, it ripped right here because they just stuck right back together. I, have, I pulled them apart and they stick together. I don't know what happened here, but okay. Okay. We're done. Bye.